Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Um, do you know what? I really wanted to try no knead bread again. Um, so I've actually found a really lovely um, olive, green olives, although it could be black olives, and rosemary uh, no knead bread recipe. Artisan bread, I mean, I'm definitely, the cost breakdown of this will be at the end uh, and in the description, well, no, at the end, because that's where it normally is, recipe, etc., will be pinned in the comments and also in the description. But it's so much cheaper to make your own fancy pants artisan bread than to go out and buy it, because I'm sure, oh, Barrow Market, they probably cost a tenner for a loaf, maybe outside of London, five pound, you know, um, and 100% um, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than that if you make it yourself. This is no need, which, um, which is so much easier, but you do need to, I think, with no need especially, is let it rise overnight in the fridge. Um, I've tried that before and it was really successful, so hopefully it will work this time. Um, come and have a look at the ingredients. So what I've got, I've got the olives, which I'm gonna roughly chop, the rosemary, again, I'm gonna roughly chop, that's fresh rosemary, the salt and the yeast. In fact, I'm gonna add the yeast to this now, uh, the water, so it can start, um, um, fermenting whilst I roughly chop the, uh, these two. The, the, the ingredients list should have floated up by now, so let's do that and, and then I'm going to roughly chop these quickly. See you in a bit. The olives, just bung it all in. Rosemary and the salt. And then finally, the um, yeasty water. I'm going to follow the John Kirkwood method and just use the the, the um, handle. It's um, easier to kind of clean, scrape off the flour. Right, I'm literally going to leave it like that. Put, um, this is another John Kirkwood wonderful idea. Put a shower cap over and let's stick this in the fridge. There you are, see you tomorrow. Oh, hello, it's the next day. <laughs> right, okay, moment of truth. Um, I don't know, I've not looked, had a peek or anything. So this is the first time I've got it out of the fridge. So horrible weather, raining all, all day. Ooh, check this out. Well, it's definitely risen. It's very, it's gonna be wet and gloopy, 100%. Now I'm gonna put this on a floured surface, um, a heavily floured surface, uh, because I'm gonna just try and form a ball shape, cut that in half, uh, because I have two, tins ready that I've just floured parchment paper. I'm going to do one in the um, Kasori oven, the, the 12 litre oven, and one in the Ninja and hopefully see how they turn out. But let's get it out of the bowl first. Gloopy. <laughs> the recipe says to just kind of fold it over. So I'm just kind of trying to create a ball shape, which I'm going to cut in half to split and then kind of do the keep doing this. So let's just chop, chop it in half roughly. To be fair, this is doing all right actually. Put one to the side and then just keep folding over. We will, I will leave it there um, for a short, you know, until it kind of gets a bit bigger. For an hour or so. I don't think I needed so much flour. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to clean up. <laughs> 
Um, leave these to kind of hopefully get bigger. Um, technically, in a warm, I will find a warm or warmer room because the kitchen is quite cold. Uh, yeah, and we'll we'll be back in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, um, it has has um, increased in size a little bit. Um, it's been a sort of forty minutes roughly. Um, I'm going to sprinkle um, with a mixture of. Uh, poppy seeds and sesame seeds on this one. It's, it feels quite sticky, so I'm just going to kind of go with it. I do have to score it as well. Uh, that's just what the recipe says. I'm just doing the ground the flax seed on this one. So I'm just going to get a sharp knife, score it. Oh, oh in fact, let's get the um, ovens on. Preheat. Uh, bake. I want it at 200. Oops, 200 for 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. This will preheat. Um, let me just do the ninja. Uh, where are we? Bake. 200. I'm going to put 35 minutes because I'm going to let it preheat at the same time as the uh, kasori oven. Oh. Right, that's preheating as is that. Right. Sharp knife. Back in a tick. difficult to it's a bit gloopy but I don't know that might hopefully do it it's not the best and um, we'll see so we'll be back as soon as it says add food okay it's asking me to add the food so in it goes quick as brilliant and now let's get the um oops I need something to sit oh hold on Oh no, that's going. Oh. Um, yeah, put that on the drawer. Quickly get that in. Oh, that way. Thirty minutes. See you in a bit. So I think I'd better check. There's still eight minutes to go. Ooh. <laughs> well, I think the Ninja definitely doesn't need as long as the Kasori, because let's have a quick look. I mean, that's not looking, there's more space basically. So it does mean I can adjust the times if you've got a Ninja, which is all, all to the good. But ooh. What, what I really want to see is the underside. Um, to see if I need to flip it. Right, I'm just probably going to um, let it carry on for five minutes. We'll check it after five minutes. Uh, it's been roughly three minutes. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Let's get this one out then. Um, yeah, so that's kind of really third. No, um, what would I want to say? Ooh, 25 minutes with a potential of having to, well, flipping it for another further few minutes, depending on how far gone you. Uh, yeah, right, let's have a. Let's just get this one out. It's only got a couple of seconds to go. I mean, it's gone a bit sort of a wonky uh, shape, but that's down to my poor knife cutting skills. I, I think maybe you need a sharper knife. We need. Let's close that in case I need to. Um, oh, pause. 
need to do the bottom. I don't think I can. In fact, I'm going to put you down. It's so much easier with two hands. Okay. I'll tell you what, though, it smells absolutely beautiful. I can smell olive, a little bit of rosemary. It's really nice. Really lovely. I can't wait to try it. Oh, and I did a cost breakdown. 52p these cost, this has cost me to make each. Um, if I had to buy the rosemary, because obviously my rosemary is free because I got it from the allotment. But if I had to buy rosemary, um, it would have cost out on average, well, a pound more if you just have to buy a, a pack of a pound of, of an average cost. So it cost a, a pound each if you have to buy your rosemary. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I think I'm going to put it back in the kasori for the kasori oven for a few minutes. That's fine. Taking off the paper. Right. Let's put that back in. Uh, let's just add. Oh. No, not that many. Oh, yeah, it just, yeah. So four minutes have added. Um, and let's see how that goes. Okay, and then we're gonna leave them to cool completely. see you in a bit when we come back for a taste test and um, we're gonna definitely let these cool they both have gone what's the word like a sort of ski slope effect uh, that's definitely down to my cutting I need a sharper knife I think or at least sharpen my knives so yeah see you in a bit for a taste test we'll cut them both open in the middle see what's going on see you in a bit so these worked out at 50p each or 52p each um, for my, for my cost, if you had to buy your rosemary, it probably would cost a pound each, um, depending on how much your rosemary cost. I mean, they may, maybe they don't really win prizes on the looks department, but let's have a, let's crack these open and see what they look like on the inside, and then do the ultimate taste test. That's that's the, the best bit. But 52p, or, or if you don't have a rosemary bush, a pound each, <laughs> that's pretty good. Let, let's, let's get these open cut them up, cut them open, and um, taste test. I'm gonna open them both. This is the Ninja one. They're, it's com they've completely cooled down. The Ninja one, definitely uh, 20 minutes. It won't, may not get so brown on on top. I'm wondering whether I should have um, um, egg washed them, but hey ho. Ooh, wow, that looks all right. That actually looks really all right. Mm, and it smells really lovely, very olivey. Olivey? Is that even a word? Oh yeah, that, that's great. Let's do. Let's crack open the um, kasori oven one. They, I mean, they almost look identical, bar the slightly darker topping. Oh, again, that's not bad at all. Maybe a bit more. I don't know, a bit more doughy, but no, it looks all right to me. I mean, I think the Ninja one did is a little bit fatter in terms of um, its width. Right, let's cut cut a slice. Uh, yeah, cut a slice, and I'll be back for a taste test. Right, um, the uh, task, the the arduous task of taste testing. Uh, yeah, this is what it's all about. Oh, I am actually really happy with how they turned out. I mean, hopefully you can see a nice, decent close-up, but that's the Ninja one. And the distribution of the olives and the rosemary is fantastic. Um, the Kasori one. It's sort of ski slope effect 
going on, but that's down to my scoring. Um, if any of you have a, a, any tips on how to score the top of the bread, maybe my knife wasn't sharp enough. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe I need to sharpen them um, or do it quick, more quickly. Um, I don't really know what the method is. I need to look into that because um, it does have an impact on how it kind of rises. So this is the, I think this is the ninja one because it's slightly darker top. No, no. This is the ninja one because it's got poppy seeds, I can see. Mm. I mean, straight away, it's just olive flavour through, throughout the whole bread. If you love olives, this is, this is going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious in soup, with soup, as a, a dunking bread. It, um, I, I'm going to test the crust. Mmm. Oh, a crust. I love a crust, but that is nice. Mmm, excuse me. Mmm. I can taste the poppy seeds. I think the sesame seeds might have fallen off. I maybe should have egg washed it. But because of the amount of flour, and it did feel a bit sticky, I wasn't sure. It's They did stick. I can see the sesame seeds. Oh. Um, I'm getting the kickback of rosemary as well. That's nice. That really is. I've never made bread like this before. I've never used as a green olives or if you wanted black olives, that would be an option. Perfectly, yeah, brilliant option. For for my in this case, it cost me fifty two p per loaf. Wow, you know, for what you're getting, that's fantastic. And if you'd had to buy rosemary, it could cost you a pound per loaf. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's so nice. Mmm. It really kicks back on the flavour when you sort of go to swallow it. It's sort of like a sort of a burst of green olives. Really lovely. This is a Kasori one. Mmm. Oh, this is this is delicious. The, the the bread itself is soft and fluffy. Absolutely turned out marvellous in, in the the rise was dodgy, but that's really I think down to my cutting skills, my scoring the top. I need to work on that. So uh yeah. <laughs> mm. So full of flavour. Drizzled with a bit of olive oil, rubbed with garlic, toasted on both of those as well. Dunking bread for soup. Oh. Mm. Or even just simply buttered with, with a slice of cheese, a little bit of cheese. Oh, and toasted. I will, I'm going to try this toasted 100%. Well, that was lovely, really lovely. I'm actually a taste sensation, it really was. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye. Where's those other slices? I think I'm gonna have some more, oh, very Moorish. Take care.